Sussex Police Detective Constable Richard Hessian, remember that name ladies, faced a misconduct hearing on Monday last week, which concluded on Friday. Hessian, a 40-year-old or 40-something-year-old detective constable, it seems, wanted to take advantage of his position and one of his junior colleagues after he and she are said to have gone on a work night out with a suite booked at the Grand Hotel in Eastbourne. After getting the 20-something-year-old woman completely inebriated and taken her back to the hotel, where obviously something happened, the woman is said to have then texted colleagues saying that she felt uncomfortable. When uniformed colleagues arrived, they found the woman naked from the waist down, swaying and slurring her speech. Clearly not in any capacity able to make rational decisions. Hessian was originally arrested at the hotel for sexual assault, but was later arrested for rape and sexual assault by touching. However, he was not criminally charged with those offences. Now, to be fair, there is a lot of reasons why this may have not gone through, including the fact that things may not have been as bad as the woman had said. But also it could have been because she was so off her face, her evidence was not particularly trustworthy. Either way, DC Hessian should have known that his actions were not the kind of actions that a gentleman should take. But to be fair, also the woman out there, uh, some women out there will just make things up because they didn't get anything, or perhaps somebody refused to agree to being sent saucy pictures by a woman and then embarrassed her into making false claims on the internet that something happened between them without going to the police because it's bogus. Just saying. Anyway, the allegations against Hessian did not stand up and meet cr uh, criminal evidential thresholds, according to reports, but he was charged with gross misconduct. Now, it appears that Hessian and this younger female had an interaction the year before in which the same woman colleague said that Hessian had come up behind her in a nightclub on another night out and kissed her on the neck. I don't know if that was reported at the time or if it, the reporting... Uh, was reported with the latest indiscretion, but he was also charged with gross misconduct for that too. After the conclusion of the misconduct hearing on Friday, panel chair Yin Jones said that the woman's evidence was credible, as was that of the constable who found her in the room with Hessian. However, Hessian's evidence was inconsistent and implausible. She said we were unpersuaded by the officer's evidence, which was inconsistent in parts. He failed to display any insight into the consequences of his actions. The woman was far more drunk than DC Hessian. She didn't seem to know where she was. He took advantage of her vulnerable state without regard to disparity in power. She was heavily intoxicated and there was a difference in age between them. Now, to be honest, police or not, if a 20-something-year-old woman and a 40-something-year-old man have any kind of relationship, I don't think that's anyone else's business. You know, they're two consenting adults. Some of you might disagree with that, but she wasn't a child, so I don't think that age should actually be a matter for discussion, in my opinion. But it is clear that Hessian would have taken advantage of the situation when he should have left her alone, and at the most, slept on the other side of the bed, keeping his hands to himself, and at the very least, sent her home in a taxi. What is interesting, however, is that on this night out, Hessian suggested the pair get a hotel room, and the woman agreed. She then texted her partner, to say that she was staying at a colleague's house and then to say she was staying at Hessian's in a spare room. Her partner then replied, can you see why I'm upset? This is exactly what you told me would stop happening. Now I think we know why the criminal charges didn't stick. Anyway, you have lasted this long. It's about time I tell you what happened to Detective Constable Richard Hessian at the conclusion of his gross misconduct hearing. Well, after four days of hearing evidence, and with Lynn Jones, the panel chair, saying Hessian's evidence was basically bullshit, they decided that he did breach the standards of professional behaviour, and, as the panel read out the decision, Hessian cried as he was handed his P45 and sent on his merry little way. Now, I do believe that something must have happened between the two. I am without doubt, based on what I've read and the fact the woman's boyfriend said, can you see why I'm upset? This is exactly what you told me would stop happening. Makes me understand why criminal charges were dropped, but this is why both men and women need to be so, so careful these days. There are women out there who will lie about sexual assaults, and there are men out there who will take advantage of women in vulnerable states to commit sexual assaults. But when you get yourself so blottoed you don't know what you're doing, you're putting yourself in danger. And as a man, when you're dealing with a woman who is clearly unfit to even walk and you take advantage of that, even if she says yes, 
you are then setting yourself up for some fucking major issues. Can we not all simply use our brains and say to ourselves, I shouldn't drink so much, or maybe I should get her a taxi home, rather than taking the risks that could ultimately affect us for the rest of our lives? Doesn't that make far more sense? And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you found this report informative, please give it, please, please, please give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Help us out by sharing the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates, and I'll see you in the next.